I just have to have solid defense and great footwork, which I do. And so, you know, I know it's going to be a match of high intensity, high, high output, and it's going to be who's the better man. See Ryan. <laughs> Does she say mama? She says mama and dad. She won't call me dad anymore. She's calling me dad now. It's Uriah. You're right. Oh. She's all grown up, man. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in. Here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, my friends? Welcome to the weigh-ins. Live on pay-per-view, we kick things off in the Bantam weight division. Yotra Yan versus Uriah Faber. Well, Russia's Pyotr Jan certainly has some serious boxing chops to the tune of more than 70 amateur boxing matches. Uriah Faber's return from retirement this summer went quite well. How about a 46-second knockout as home underdog? For me, it's a big opportunity to say about myself here in the States, so Russia's Pyotr Jan came to the UFC in 2018 with some serious expectations and he has lived up to all of them. Many were surprised when UFC Hall of Famer Uriah Faber announced he was ending his retirement earlier this year. Finishing fights is, is what I'm best at. You know, I've got a, a lot of fights and a lot of finishes, so that's, that's the goal tonight. As the California kid Uriah Faber prepares to make his walk tonight, he does so with a very clear plan in mind. Uriah Faber talked about transcending like decades right if he fights peter Jan, like you said john in 10 years they'll be talking about him so he fought all the guys before him i was particularly impressed by his victories over dodson and jimmy rivera because they were two of the biggest tests of his career the russian Jan, 26 Uriah Faber is a man, he is 40. Jan the taller man by an inch and a half. Both men will enter the octagon with a reach of 67 inches. The California Kid, Uriah Faber! Pelter, no mercy, Jan! He's got Faber on his heels already. Yes. If Uriah has an advantage in the fight, nice step in knee. Oh, nice combination by Jan, starting with a head kick and then a one-two. Ooh, good right hand by Jan. Oh, nice uppercut there. Oh, oh he, heard, he, heard him. he heard him. He heard him bad. Watch here. He's got to be careful here. You see that? Yep, yep it's like one those. Jan with another knee, seemed to miss that one. Good start for the Russian. Here's that Uriah Faber knee, partially blocked by Jan. And there's a big body kick by Jan. Hasn't really threatened the takedown much tonight. That Good left hand will work. Beautiful left hook. Big miss from Faber, nice combination from Jan. Oh, now we get getting that kick. Uriah's got double underhooks. That's me! He's looking for that neck. He wants the, the, the fight a little bit more in his range. Oh, he attacked with that left hand. Well, most opponents as Jan crashes. This could be the end here. Faber trying to defend him. Faber's like messing around. I can't even look at him. 
just waved to his wife and daughter sitting off the gun side here. The only Jan is so patient and so good in these positions. He's not even worried about oh. the oh. 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 strike from Jan. I mean, but you're right, Faber is as tough as they come. No doubt about it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, he is back. mangled. It's over. And Keith Peterson, Peterson knows stop he's stopping the action There's here to no take a look. There's no way they're going to let him fight through this. At Faber's left eye. That is a bad cut. It's 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 definitely swelling up. It looks terrible. Hey, but he can see. That. He can yeah, see. It's so tough. It's going to continue to swell. It's only going to get worse here. He's going for legs. Trying to get his back. Got a leg. The forever game. You are a Faber still fighting. Watch the backhand of Fyodor Jan, though. That's the, that's the tell, right? Look What's the backhand? Down. It's that's always... We do that in wrestling. Right. Again, in tight is where Faber off. was struggling. The off the okay. breaks was where Jan is getting a beautiful fine. elbow the right over the top. To you can't say enough about the performance of Fyodor Jan right now. No, you can't, and Uriah has had some success. He definitely did. Oh, oh that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. I don't know who wants to see that dude stand across the octagon from him. He is the absolute real deal, folks. I mean, wow. I everywhere. mean, this dude is because everywhere. Look at how close he was to Faber when he landed that head kick. Yes. yes. I mean, to your point, Joe, he doesn't overcommit. Found the target. You no, know, his technique is absolutely <clears throat> perfect. Here it is. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> I mean, but look, look at how close very they are, Joe. Very tight, very I mean, tight. look at the tight quarters that he can generate that type of power. This dude's a problem, man. He really is. Declaring the winner by knockout, Pelta no mercy. Я очень рад, что я сегодня победил. Хочу сказать огромное спасибо всем, кто принимал в этом участие. I'm very glad I won. I'm very happy. I want to thank everyone who helped me. And I hope today Uriah fans are going to become my fans. I want next fight. Sihuda, title shot. Whale, triple clown. Whale. Congratulations on a very, very impressive victory. Pyotr Jan, ladies and gentlemen. Завершающий год UFC 245. Огромнейший ивент. И эта победа приблизила меня к поясу. Я думаю, что мы максимально близко. Yes, of course, UFC 245 is the biggest event of the year, you know, and this win brought me closer to the title shot. Я люблю драться пять раундов, скажи. Uh, and I like to fight five rounds. I'm waiting for the opportunity to fight in UFC for the five rounds. What happens for Uriah Faber from here, in your opinion? You know, Uriah looked good tonight. If you think about, Uriah doesn't want to hear that he's old, but unfortunately, Uriah, you're old, okay? And I don't think anybody in this room would disagree with me if I said he could fight again. We could put him in with somebody else. You know, this guy's fighting. He's not in here fighting bums. This guy's fighting the best guys in the world. But the question becomes why. He makes money. He's got a gym. He's got other businesses going on. Um, he's got a beautiful family. Why? That's something he needs to talk about. Um, with his wife and other people that care about him.